The release of the first eight episodes of The Glory was presented on December 30th on streaming. The Glory it tells the story of Dong Eun, a woman who was a victim of school violence. Her dream of becoming an architect was dashed when she had to drop out of school due to the abuse she received. But after countless traumas due to that abuse, she decides to take revenge on her former classmates, who ruined her life. Since its premiere, The Glory has reached the top 10 of the most-watched series on the Netflix platform, in non-English, surpassing 40 million hours viewed. Due to the success of its first season, the arrival of a second season has been announced. This second part of the story will be presented on the Netflix platform on March 10th and fans are happy for this great news. But many are wondering what things might happen in this second season and how Dongun's long-awaited revenge would finally be. That's why today I'm going to talk to you. What could happen in the second season of The Glory? But first remember to subscribe to this channel so that you know all the information about your favorite K-dramas. We saw that in the final minutes, Dongun met with Do Young. He already knew that his wife had bullied her in the past and because of that she had suffered a lot. Then we saw how Yun Jin entered Dong Un's apartment and saw all the pictures on the wall. At that moment, she regretted what she did as she is now experiencing revenge. We saw footage of Yeo Young trying to see the body of the young girl who died but realized it wasn't there. Then we saw how surprisingly Do Young arrived at Dong Un's apartment and met his wife. And the last episode of the first season ended when Dong Eun is making a move on Go. Now, this ending leaves us with a lot of question marks. We already know that ending season 2 was safe. What we can wonder is what is going to happen in season 2 and how Dong Eun's revenge will be. With some things we saw in this season, we can have an idea of what might happen. Apparently Dong Eun might use Yun Jin's husband for her own plan. Apparently Do Young is attracted to Dong Eun and Dong Eun knows this and can use it to her advantage. We know that Do Young knows the whole truth about his wife and the biggest pain and anger he must feel is not because his wife bullied a girl, although of course that shows him for the person she really is. The most frustrating thing for him is the cheating. Knowing that his wife cheated on him and that his supposed daughter is not his and that his wife keeps lying to him. It may be that Do Young helps Dong Eun as they would be covering two revenges for her and him. As for Yun Jin, we understand that she is the one who must suffer the most since she was the leader of the harassment that Dong Eun suffered. We know that Yun Jin's happiness is knowing that she has a millionaire husband with a lot of power and that she has a daughter. We also know that thanks to her husband she can work as a reporter, so her life is as she planned. This perfect life won't be for long because Dong Eun will be in charge of destroying it. We can expect Dong Eun to team up with Yun Jin's husband to make her pay for the things she has done. One of the things that clearly must happen is Yun Jin's divorce, this would destroy her life. The divorce would cause her to no longer look so stable socially and of course financially because she would lose all the help from her husband. Also the divorce would cause her to be fired as a reporter and consequently with the divorce she might lose her daughter. Since that is what Jae Joon needs to take the child away from her. So this revenge will be very sweet for Dong Eun as it will take away everything she has. But if you are wondering what will happen to Yun Jin's daughter, I don't think Dong Eun will hurt her. She will just use her to threaten them. We know that deep down she is a good person. She is even helping Hyun Nam's daughter to continue her studies. As for Sarah, we know that she is an addict and depends on the paintings she makes to support herself financially, and also depends on the good girl image she keeps in her family since her family is religious. For that reason it is expected that as part of the revenge Dong Eun reveals that she has an addiction and plays with her mind, by letting her know that she is not going to heaven. This is something that would destroy her because she would lose her job and would not be able to sustain her vice, plus she would be an embarrassment to her father. If we talk about Jae Joon, his revenge could be very strong as well. 
Dong Eun might make him believe that he could get his daughter back, but in the end she might surprise him and just not give him his daughter, because of some legal concept she finds. We also know that Jae Joon has a complex and insecurity because of his color blindness and it is very sure that she will use that insecurity to humiliate him and let the whole world know about his condition. So a good way to get revenge would be to take his daughter away from him and also use some cyber technique to leave him in ruin. As for Hai Jong, I think she is the easiest to destroy since Dong Eun has a lot of evidence in her cell phone of wrong things she did and she knows her mother-in-law. Dong Eun just has to tell everything to her mother-in-law and instantly leaves Hai Jong on the street since she quit her job and depends on that marriage. If we're talking about Myongo, well, someone beat Dong Eun to the punch to complete her revenge. Dong Eun was using him for her plans, but since he knew that Yi Sol was not Do Young's daughter, then apparently Yun Jin knew that he knew and eliminated him. So she must hide all the evidence so she won't be found out. Although we imagine that Dong Eun wanted to eliminate him herself, she must feel satisfied that he will not be a problem anymore. Now, there is something very interesting with Yeo Young. At first we thought he was an ordinary guy, a guy coming from a money and professional family who never suffered for anything and got everything in life. However, it seems that he didn't have a great time either. We saw images that he was hallucinating that he was killing the guy who killed his dad. The man who eliminated his dad was sending him letters and apparently Yeo Young is traumatized because his dad's killer describes to him in detail how he eliminated his dad. But this character doesn't give me much confidence, there's something weird about him, as if he's a psychopath who can betray Dong Eun at any time or we could also find out that he has other intentions. Although we can consider romantic and tender when he told her that he is willing to be her executioner with a sword, it still seems a bit strange to me. But of course we will have to wait to find out if this character is good or bad. The problem with this first season is that we didn't get to know the characters in depth, so we hope that in the second season we will be able to know the story of each one of them. But for now we can only wait until March to see the second part of this story that promises to be very interesting. What did you like the most about this series? Leave your comment here so we can read it. And remember to like and subscribe to this channel.